Several years ago, our district adopted ClassLink as our single sign-on provider. It has become an invaluable tool for keeping up with usernames and passwords to the countless web apps we use, but it does require some basic setup to ensure that it works every time. The ClassLink sign-in process differs depending on if you're using a traditional computer such as a desktop or laptop, or if you're using a mobile device like a tablet or phone. I'll demonstrate on a traditional computer first. Start by opening Google Chrome. We recommend this browser because it's been tested with almost all of the web apps that we use, and because it's cross-platform. It works pretty much the same way no matter what operating system you're using. To get to our school district's ClassLink sign-on page, type www.leonschools.net slash launchpad in the address bar of Chrome. This is a shortcut to our district's ClassLink sign-in page. And once it loads, you can tell that you're on our district's page because it has the Leon County logo at the top. There are a couple of choices on this page. You can log in with a username and password. You can log in with a quick card and you have the choice to download apps on the App Store or on Google Play. Notice at the top that there's also a reminder about the format of student usernames in Leon County. We'll come back to that in just a second. So for now, we're going to stick with just the green login with username and password button and click on that. I'll talk about the other options in a second. And the username format for students in Leon County Schools is your nine digit ID number at edu.leonschools.net. So you'll type that number in the username box, your ID number at edu.leonschools.net. And then you'll move on to the password, which for elementary students is usually their five digit lunch pin. Uh, middle and high school students set and keep up with their own password. Once you've signed in, you'll arrive at the class link launch pad. Theoretically, you can just click any of these icons and they'll sign you right in to your account on the associated website. However, there is some setup that you may need to do for some of the apps. I'll demonstrate and explain a few scenarios. The first one is sites that have set up an arrangement with ClassLink to allow ClassLink to skip their login page and sign students directly in. They have a trust relationship iReady is an example of this sort of app. When I click the iReady icon, I don't even see the login page. I'm signed directly in. Other sites, like the Microsoft apps, may want you to confirm your identity after clicking the sign-in link. If you're taken to a Microsoft sign-in page, just retype your student ID number at edu.leonschools.com. Net. You won't have to retype your password. A third type of single sign-on app is a form post app. This is an app where ClassLink takes your username and password and literally types it into the form for you. In order for ClassLink to type into forms for you, you'll need to have the ClassLink Chrome extension installed. When I click this form post app, I'm taken to a prompt to install or enable the ClassLink browser extension. I can bypass this prompt, but I would have to know my username and password on the next screen. Instead, I'll click install extension to get my browser set up with the ClassLink one-click extension. Just click the add to Chrome button and add the extension. Now I can check again and ClassLink will go on to the app and literally type my login information into the form for me. When it says making magic happen, that's what it's doing. Once the extension is installed, ClassLink works really well on a traditional computer. The biggest problem families experience is when ClassLink works a little bit too well it stays logged in as the first student that logged in and keeps logging into every site as that student, even when a sibling comes along and is trying to log in. Ensuring the first student is signed out completely can be challenging. 
So the workaround that we often suggest is to utilize Chrome's incognito window feature. From the settings menu, click New Incognito Window. The window that opens is a completely separate browsing session. It is not attached to anything you've done in your previous window. If you navigate to www.leonschools.net slash launchpad in this new window, you'll get back to the login page and you'll be able to log in as a different student. You can toggle back and forth between the incognito window and the regular window to access resources under two different students at the same time. If you use the incognito window feature, it's important to enable the class link one-click extension even while in incognito mode. Open the menu and choose Settings, Extensions, and then click to view the details of the class link one-click extension. Scroll down on this page and enable the Allow an Incognito setting. Another option is to use your computer's accounts feature and create separate accounts for each of your students. You can switch between the computer accounts or sign out of one account and log in as another. And again, each student would have a separate browsing session in their own instance of Google Chrome. If your teacher is using the quick card feature that's available to students in kindergarten through second grade, you can click the blue button on the ClassLink sign-in page and just hold up your quick card to sign in to your ClassLink launchpad without entering any username or password. Just remember that you may still need to know your username or password in case an app like Microsoft Teams prompts for it later. Technically, you can access the ClassLink sign-in page through a browser like Safari or Google Chrome on an iOS or Android device. What you can't do is install the ClassLink one-click extension, so some of the single sign-on apps won't work through the built-in browser on a mobile device. Instead, you should download the ClassLink app from the App Store or Google Play Store onto your device. Open the App Store on your device and search for ClassLink. Download the ClassLink Launchpad app. Now there's an app dedicated to ClassLink directly on the home screen of your device. The first time you launch the app, you'll be prompted to search for your school district. This throws a lot of people off, but just click in the search bar at the top and type in Leon to find the Leon County School District sign-in page. Your app may have the Quick Card button on top, but you need to click Sign In with ADFS if you're signing in with your username and password. This takes you to the familiar Leon County Schools sign-in page, where you'll type in your ID number at edu.leonschools.net as the username, and your five-digit lunch pin as the password if you're an elementary age student. The ClassLink Launchpad mobile app works very similarly to how the ClassLink Launchpad page works in Chrome on a computer. I'll launch the same apps to demonstrate. Teams will still prompt you for a Microsoft account. Remember to type in your ID number at edu.leonschools.net at this prompt. iReady will still attempt to sign you in directly, bypassing the login page. However, iReady requires a separate app to run on an iPad. So if you don't have that app installed, ClassLink can't launch iReady for you. You'll have to go back to the App Store and install the iReady app before you can sign in automatically through ClassLink. For apps that have ClassLink Fill in your username and password. Just click their icon and you'll be signed right in. When you close an app in ClassLink, it stays open in your app tray. 
you'll have a number up in the corner that tells you how many apps you have open, and you can click that number to quickly switch between open apps. Click the edit button if you want to fully exit any of the open apps. If you have multiple students using the same mobile device, you can click the menu to sign out of the ClassLink Launchpad app. This will return you to the Leon County Schools ClassLink sign-in page so your next student can sign in and begin using the app. I hope you find these setup and troubleshooting tips enable you to use ClassLink without a hitch. If you're still unable to log in, contact your child's teacher or school technology specialist and they will refer you to the appropriate help. Thanks for watching.